Hi friend, this is a third continuation video on the Oracle database interview question and answer for L1, L2 and for experience resource basically and whoever is wanted to start their career for them also it's very important. So in that uh, uh, I have covered few most important questions that mostly interviewer ask. Uh, in your regular interviews when you go for Oracle DB interview as experience. So now let's just start with the first question. What is SCN number? System chain number. Is it, it is one of the most important thing that generally interviewer can ask. So here you have to answer like system chain number is an uh, ever increasing value that uniquely identify a committed version of a database at a point in time. Every time a user commit a transaction, Oracle records a new SCN in a read log. Oracle use SCN in control file, data file headers and read log records. Every read log file has both a log sequence number and low and high SCN and the low SCN records the low SCN records in the log file while the high SCN records the high SCN in the log file means overall it uh, is responsible for making our database consistent so SCN number is a unique identity for every change uh, committed database uh, it's providing a unique number so that's how you have to tell about uh, SCN number and the next is what type of backups are in there in Oracle so basically if your uh, your uh, database environment it's if it is a very robust then basically people will go with R1 backup because now it's a most trending uh, backup format that people are using it as a DBA that will be configured from the cron tab that generally you have to use it uh, and uh, yeah, the next thing is export import also the most commonly used format of backup that as a DBA you have to use and then the last is hot backup and uh, second, third is hot backup that when you put your database in big and backup mode that time it will happen and code backup is like when your database is offline that time you will copy your data files and important parameter file and um, uh, yeah control file those are all important things you have to copy to another uh, location or any different uh, dry, uh, drive so that's how it's a cold backup so you can basically say four type of backups are present well, first is cold backup generally um, like in, in starting of uh, the oracle database in the beginning like if you go 10 years before people were going with more code backup especially in if you are going for decommissioning your of your database that time code backups plays an important role means you before decommissioning you will take a code backup and then you will decommission your database so the next is export import backup oracle uh, use oracle uh, import export export import util uh, utility as a functionality of a database backup so that generally you can take it for full database even for uh, object label or uh, yeah schema label like as uh, as per your need you can take this backup hot backup it is executed when the database is active and ongoing means you have to put your database in begin backup move and mode and then you can start your uh, hot backup Arman backup is release an oracle recovery manager for a more detailed backup uh, backup solution yeah obviously it's a block to block uh, data copy and this is uh, more faster and more accurate uh, backup and it's a uh, better uh, for recovery as well so that's how you can tell about the uh, backup actually the uh, third question is difference between grid and cluster so cluster utilize a grid infrastructure creation it consolidates uh, resources for a specific application commonly employed in a database and web logic app servers that is card cluster and the grid this represent a more expensive network compromising a multiple cluster sharing a resource across the diverse apps and users is characterized by its uh, worse 
वर्सलिटी इन मैनेजिंग अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन अक्रॉस द सर्वर दैट इज ग्रीड सो जनरली क्लस्टर एंड ग्रीड फीचर वंस यू वर्क ऑन अ रैक एनवायरमेंट यू विल गेट मोर टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑन क्लस्टर एंड ग्रीड वट इज डेटा बेस इन कॉर्डिनेशन इन कॉर्डिनेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट um there are very high chance that you if you go with a 3 plus year of experience people will ask this question database incarnation is effectively a new version of a database that happens when you reset the online read log using alter database open reset log mm, uh, reset log command database incarnation fall into a following category current present ancestors and sibling current incarnation the database incarnation in which the database is currently generates a read log present incarnation the present the database incarnation from which the current incarnation branch following up a open reset log operations ancestor incarnation the the parents of the parent incarnation is an ancestor incarnation any pa parent of an ancestor incarnation is also a ancestor incarnation sibling incarnation two incarnation that shares a common ancestors are sibling incarnation if neither one is an ancestor of the other so the next is how to view a database incarnation history of a database so use uh, command like select star from v dollar v dollar database underscore incarnation by this command you can see the incarnation detail use arman list incarnation however you can use the reset database to incarnation command to specify the scn number r to be in, interrupted in the frame of reference of another incarnation for example my current database incarnation is 3 and now i have used uh, flash backup to scn 3000 then scn 3000 will um, be searched in current incarnation which is 3 however if you wanted to uh, get back to scn 3000 of incarnation 2 then i have to use arman reset uh, uh, means after logging arman reset database to incarnation 2 and recover database to scn 3000 that's how you have to see the incarnation detail and how to work on incarnation that's that's you have to understand actually because by that you need to recover some time with the scn number and all so that time it's important the next is what is S sga target and nsga max so sga max is the larger than sga target that you have to keep in mind because the sga target target can grow max to sga uh, um, sga target max can grow uh, up to sga max size so sga target is the largest amount of memory that will be available for the sga in the instance and it will be allocated from memory you don't have to use it all but it will be potentially wasted if you set it to high and don't use it it is not a dynamic parameter basically it gives you a room of for the oracle instance to grow sga target is actually a memory in uh, used by the current sga this parameter is a dynamic means you can spend max sga max value once you have to set it that will be a static kind of thing and uh, sga target will be a dynamic it can grow up to a sga max value so it will be a dynamic parameter this um, parameter is dynamic and can be used up to a um, value of sga max that clarity you should have actually because this uh, in the interviewer in the ask in interviewer asked this question that was the different what kind of uh, value can grow which one can grow up to what this this kind of interview uh, question you will get in interview sga max and sga target both are the parameters are used to change the sga size and sga size set to the maximum value uh, value for sga target sga target is 10 gb feature used to change the sga size dynamically if we specify the total amount of sga memory available in the instance this feature is called automatic shared memory management yes 
if somebody is asking what is as automatic um, uh, shared memory management then you have to give this is example as a sga max and sga target uh, and their details you have to explain it with asmm the parameter java pool size uh, share pool size large pool size and db cache size is affected what is difference between v dollar view and dva view so dva view are static view basically like uh, for that uh, v dollar view are uh, v dollar view are dynamic view dva views are static view dva views are available once the dba is open in open mode like once your database is open then only you can uh, uh, see a uh, db underscore user db underscore table this kind of views you can run only once the database is uh, up and uh, up and running like it should be in open mode and like uh, we we dollar uh, we dollar view can be viewed even the database is mount mode like we dollar instance we dollar log file we dollar log so these are the views you can see even if your database is in mount mode as well so the next and last important question is what are the main aspect of oracle database security management so key aspect includes a controlling a database access like uh, your database will be a password protected so your database is getting controlled through the access like whatever the access you will be giving to any end user those users only can access your database restricting a user to legitimate the users like uh, whatever the access you are providing to the user even for them also you will be deciding what level of access you are providing it like you will be providing it on a db level access or application level specific uh, read only read write uh, on uh, create or modify privileges you have to um, define as per the user need ensuring the ac accountability and ensuring uh, accountability means securing of a database who will do what like what kind of job which person will be doing for data uh, based management data security purpose like db what kind of accountability uh, any db db will be having it so that kind of things you have to explain it here and uh, safeguarding a data criticalities yes so for uh, uh, saving guard your data criticality you are configuring an alert system like if any uh, data uh, file is growing up to a threshold value then you will get alert and you will do the uh, addition into a data file or you will add uh, some space into that table space so table space alert means for any kind of services if it is uh, getting triggered or getting down so you you should get an alert for that you should have a backup configure for your data guard security purpose and managing overall enterprise security yes for managing uh, overall enterprise security that all comes under a uh, database security management so that is somewhere 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 i can say it's a dba responsibility as well to make your database secure and consistent thanks for watching till here i hope this will help for your interviews